We're going live. And we're out there. Let's figure out how to turn this around. There we go. I know that was gnarly. He was gnarly. Gnarly. Yeah. Especially that day he was insane. Oh, we're in there, KK. We're in. You pull it up on there? Um, let me see. Make sure it looks legit. Oh, yeah, I'm not jabroning. We're good. Hell yeah. And the mic, I already tested out the mic, so we're good there. Um, just get iTunes. Yeah, yeah. Let's right. rock it, baby. Let's rock it, boys. Let's get it going, boys. All right, we're good. Yeah. What up, KK? What up? Good How to see doing? you again. I know, good to see you as well. Another week? Mm -hmm. Another podcast? I don't know. Can I get some of that coffee? More black coffee for the boys. I brought chocolate milk to throw in it. Wow, you're going to mix that in with your coffee? Yeah. Interesting. Amazing. Interesting. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, we're going to start this one off with how you doing? Hey, Bubs, how you doing out there in Audio Land and YouTube? We see you. Um, feel free to leave comments too throughout the show. We'll engage with you as we can. Uh, we're going to start off with some updates today. Let's first, um, let's pull up a couple things that I know that's going on. And since I don't have my phone since it's recording, we're going to have to probably look it up online. Yeah. Damn, look how bald I look right now. <laughs> can you people on YouTube see how bald my head looks? It is glistening under these lights. Yeah. How do you feel about my baldness? It's solid. Give it a run. I think you rock the baldness pretty good. Oh. oh my god, it's like Velcro. Nice, yeah. Did you just shave this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you notice how it's like starting to go like Homer Simpson? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, first, I want to start with a shout out. This is this this is a shout out to someone who supports All I Need and the podcast and the YouTube channel and oh, the, yeah. all of all of it, man. Uh, he supported it with copping some stuff from our online skate shop. His name is, you want to say that one? Um, Kanan? Kane and Sears. Kane and Sears. That's what I thought it would be. Kane and Sears. And he writes, it's Kane who hit you up on Instagram. Save a deck and a tea and send me the rest, buddy. Thank you. So basically he hit me up and he's like, look, man, I like what you guys are doing. I want to show support, real support. Yeah. And, uh, I want to cop a t-shirt and a board for you just to give out to someone. That's sick. So yeah, we're going to give it out on our YouTube channel. We're going to give the board away, and I already gave the tea away. So if that, which is also another thing. So shout out to Canon. Thank you for the support. It goes a long ways. It means a lot to us, and it helps create more skateboarding epicness because yeah. that goes back into more skateboards, more art, more trips, more tours, more videos, et cetera, et cetera. Everything we love, skateboarding. So yeah, big shout out right there. Oh yeah, that's a sick thing to do. Yeah, and definitely if you guys cop something from our online skate shop ever and uh, you're checking out in the customer notes, just put, I want a shout out. I'll gladly give you a shout out if you support <laughs> what we do. You know what I mean? No biggie at all. <laughs> that would actually be really tight to be able to give all you guys a shout out because a lot of you guys support to that through the online skate shop and uh, I don't always get a shout you guys out. I don't even know if I can half the time. Like I hit it, I hit Cannon up after it was like, mm. Dude, that's such a cool thing to do. Can I give you a shout yeah. out? And he was like, yeah, it's fine. Oh yeah. So that's rad. But uh, okay. And that takes us to our next one. There is a board giveaway that we are doing. You can get one of the new All I Need boards, the cinema series in the background, the legend superstars back there. Oh, yeah. If you like uh, Jurassic Park or Con Air, or Blade, or Con Air, any of those classics, uh, you, you can go to our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash all I need skate, and there's a board giveaway right there. You watch the video, follow the rules, which is simple, be subscribed to our channel, leave a comment, let us know which board you like, and, Easy as that. and why. Why is the most important part. Still, people are just like, give me free board! <laughs> I'm like, dude, watch oh, the video. Those people. I know. Insane. So, bam, there. Shout outs done. And board giveaway. And uh, actually, on that board giveaway video, there's a heavy skate session afterwards, too. So, sick. Hell yeah. 
What do we got on YouTube? Give it. Give a shout out to these guys. Call um, them out. Where do we start at? Do you have you shouted anyone out yet? No, nah, shout out. Shout them so out. So first one, Talon. Sup? What up, Talon? Talon. Elemental two says a. Hey. Sup, Elemental. Quinn McGregor. He's in here like every time. What up, Quinn? Sa same with Talon too. Yeah. And Elemental. Loyal listeners. Um, we got a new guy, Blood, Sweat, and Tears Skateboarding. Vince says, what's up? What up, man? Hell yeah. Um, That's the homie. It's Evan342. Hey, Shetler, I'm here. Lil BST, I uh, entered. Oh, sick. Good looks. He entered the giveaway. Sick. And Cormac, Cr Cormac Crump. What up? Cormac Crump. What up, my Gs? All right, good to hear from you. And Kevin McQuaid just joined in. McQuaid's a sick name, man. Yeah, that's solid. I love that last name. Uh, that actually leads us to another update that I wanted to tell everyone because homie right here said he'll be there on Friday. Friday's going to be sick as hell at the Hive. That's oh, Quinn yeah. McGregor. So Friday, today's Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thursday, Friday. Um, can you pull it up actually? Yeah. Well, like go, a flyer for it. Yeah. Go to the Hive skate shop dot com or something along those lines. I don't know what their website is, but it's probably just Hive. But yeah. Anyways, it's New London, Connecticut, the Hive Skate Shop, Charlie King, shout out. He started as a skate shop, one of the first supporters, definitely oh, have all I need. Oh wait, is that right? Yeah. Yep, that's yeah. it. They're having their grand opening and ribbon cutting, Hive Skate Shop and Indoor Skate Park, 139 Shaw Street, New London, Connecticut. There will be bands, ramp jams, food, raffles. It is April 29th, 26th, which is Friday. 3 to 9 p.m. Ribbing, ribbing cutting starts at 5. Best trick contest starts at 7.30. Raffle drawing at 8.30. And apparently, go ahead, read that <laughs> one Best up. trick wins in 01 Chrysler Sebring. Wow, Sebring. Right. Sebring, yeah. Yeah, Chrysler Sebring. Oh, man. <laughs> interesting, interesting. That park's so fun, though. Yeah, it is. I'm stoked that we're a sponsor of this yeah, one, too. Yeah, so. And uh, we'll be rolling down that way. Hey, and I saw it today on their Instagram. They were just painting the whole backdrop. Yeah, I saw that, that too, actually. It looks sick. Yeah, looking pretty epic. So yeah. if you're out there in internet land and you got nothing to do on Friday or you're looking for something epic to do, mm -hmm. I would say head the fuck down to the Hive Skate Shop yep. and come shred with us. And I'll, I'll be there. I'll be skating for a little bit, and I'll whip out the camera and make a little edit too. So nice. it be fun to say hi to you. So if My knee's doing good. I'll come by. Yeah, how's it? What's the what's the uh, prognosis of it now? I was just pushing around earlier. I just took the uh, orange line into Back Bay and just like cruised around, looked for like little spots that might not have been skated. You know what I mean? You just like some, little stuff to ollie over and stuff. Some public transportation. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about that last time, dude. Right? It's so much easier than trying to even bother driving through the city. It's ridiculous. Well, we were thinking about going to New York this weekend. Yeah. And I was trying to think about how we could do it. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used well, to New York's a little easier to drive through though than Boston because. It's like grids, you know, and yeah. there's kind of more available parking, but it's still definitely depends on the area. Yeah. yeah, depends on if you're. Like I feel like park. this weekend's not really a popular weekend, so it wouldn't be like too terrible. But I mean, New York's always jammed. Yeah, that's sick though. So, did you find any cutty stuff or what? Yeah, I found a couple things. Found this little like wall ride like into an alley that like goes downhill. That was pretty sick. So, how's the knee feeling though? Oh, it feels saying? good. I was just like pushing around, like ollieing up curbs and stuff. I could feel like everything like re loosening when I'd like ollie up and stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? Like everything coming back into place. Yeah. And uh, like in a good way. Oh no! Yeah, definitely. Okay. It felt like way better after I skated than like before. Honestly, like afterwards, I didn't feel like sore from skating. You know, because I just went and pushed around. It doesn't feel uh, doesn't feel weak, does it? No, not really. That's I mean, good. still like kind of a little bit. That's why I wasn't really like pushing it, pushing it. I was just like literally pushing around like looking for spots yeah wasn't really so much skating you know yes but yeah see and how it goes this week today's three weeks so usually like a, a meniscus scope is like two to four weeks for recovery so and you're waiting the full four um we'll see uh, <laughs> we'll see how it feels at the end of the week because it feels good i'm gonna try to come to new york but i get it i get it bro uh okay back to updates we got more so Friday is the Hive, and then Saturday is the Helping Hands Tour, which we should pull up so I can get the details yeah. correct. So if you're looking for awesome skate shit to do, these are all skate events with best tricks, contests, there's going to be people there ripping, like, a lot of energy. There's stuff going on every weekend, man. So, um, I think you might want to type in something simple, Kyle, or something along those lines. Because those are, they are one of the sponsors. Shout out to Romero. 
invited me to come. I'm not able to make this one on Saturday because we're going to New York, but there's two more of them. Let me go to Try Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. yeah, that'd be best. The homie Ramiro hit me up a while ago and was like, hey, I'm working with this this brand, Something Simple Co., and like, we're doing this tour, and I just want to uh, have you come and like MC or like be a part of it in some way, and I was down, but this one I'm not going to be able to make because it's busy, but I'll, I'll make it to the next two. But either way, they're always a good time, man. So they're going to have a full-on jam. It's going to be wild, bro. What the hell is going on? There's no Instagram out there at all. Oh, there it is. Wow, that was weird. There you go. Bada bang. All right, you want me to read it? You want it? Yeah, you can take it. I'll go for it. All right, the Collective PVD and Something Simple Co. presents the Helping Hands Tour, Earth Day Edition, Saturday, April 27th, uh, 675 Plainfield Street, Providence, Rhode Island. Admission, I like this idea. Admission is a canned food, five canned foods. So if you got some uh, nice. beans or corn or whatever the hell you keep in cans, what's that stuff sick. you eat at Thanksgiving? Not jello, but oh, uh, cranberry, cranberry sauce. sauce. Yeah. <laughs> whatever type of delicious stuff you have in rusty metal cans, bring those, and that's your admission. You got to bring five canned goods. Uh, it says park cleanup is 9 a.m. to noon. That park's going to be spotless if I you're know, there right? the whole time, right? <laughs> I think that's like an hour and a half at oh, least, yeah. but maybe maybe the park's a mess. Contest is at 1 p.m. Best trick, open jam format. Best trick on special obstacle. Sounds by DJ Ken and Lit Wellington. Choo-choo-choo-choo. And a whole bunch of sponsors. Hell yeah. And one of the more notable sponsors is Arahani Boy. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out to uh, Civil, Civil Skate Shop for sponsoring it as well. Sick. So yeah, that's going on Saturday. So you could hit Friday, then you could be on tour and go Saturday. And then you could get Sunday just to street skate. Sick. If you're looking for epic yeah. skateboard stuff. And it's so rad that all this stuff is going on. So Update. Done. Bam! Head back to YouTube real quick. Let's see what the boys are doing out there. Alright, let's see. Oh, we got some more. Kevin McQuaid, yo, so already got that one. Elemental said he entered the giveaway. Nice. Del Marco Perez throws a little flame out there. Chris Pouliot, I believe. Hey, Anthony, do you guys have any boards with wide nose and tails along with decent concaves and eight? Um, yeah, I'd say check out our eights. I mean, they're all decent, you know, they're all really good. I don't know if any of them have like super steep concave. A lot of them are just kind of medium concave. I ride the eight and I like it. So uh, I'd say give one a try, man. Mm. Uh, if not, we'll have some real soon, man. We're going to have all different types of shapes and sizes and graphics are going to be available in more than just one size, uh, hopefully moving forward this summer. Because we've just been working on stuff, making moves to make that happen. So that that's so coming. Sick. Yeah. And I want to do some shape boards for sure. Yeah, please. How do you feel? You that feel would about be so it? sick. I think yeah. we should definitely do some for World, too. Yeah. I think that would be amazing. Definitely. Yeah. So we used to do, when I, back uh, before World and the recession, all that stuff, when we were doing cool stuff back then, we had a shape board. It was, unfortunately, it wasn't the shape board I wanted, but it was still a funny idea. We did the Kanye board that's shaped like a dick. <laughs> you see that one? Nah. Literally, my homie RP That's Best. So Shout funny. out RP Best. <laughs> I remember like that beer pong one that had like the circle drilled the in hole. it. Yeah. yeah. That Crazy. was a funny idea. Yeah, that was the same. That was the same era we were oh, doing that so stuff. Funny. But yeah, we had a Kanye board and he had like holding a trophy. It was like right when he dissed whoever Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, we just put him on a dick board. And then we had another one and it was Osama bin Laden, the terrorist dude. Yeah, the yeah, same yeah. thing, dick board shaped like a dick. Oh, it just had like a slight head on it, and then the tail was just kind of like shafty and ballsy. You know what I'm That's saying? That's such a funny idea. A long, hard <laughs> dick board for the people out there. That's so funny. <laughs> so that's what you could do with the world if you want, you know? Like. There's no limits. Yeah. There's no rules. You can fucking smash them all. Ruthless. It seems to be ruthless. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, Chris. I mean, we don't have anything that has super wide nose and tail but we definitely have some that have decent concave mm -hmm. and our nose and tails are not narrow so i'd say just check one out you know if you live near a skate shop that carries us go in check it out man other than that once we get one that has super wide i'll let you know quinn mcgregor kevin you gotta win that car with the best trick <laughs> Kevin's nursing the knee. Yeah, I don't think my knee will be functioning. He's not ready to win a, a Chrysler Seaman. <laughs> and I actually just bought a new car. 
<laughs> hell yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, Elemental2 says, I'm psyched to maybe meet you at the edge. That'd be dope, man. I meet tons of people at the edge. All the time. What about you? Yeah. You mean you were working there for a while. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that place is a perfect place for, like, a perfect meeting ground to yeah, definitely. meet shredders, you know? Especially if it's, like, a night that's, like, busy but all skaters. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite. Best nights. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I meet people from online at the edge all the time because whenever someone says something like that, I'm like, hell yeah, I'm usually at edge. Yeah. Saturday, Sunday mornings or catch me during the week sometimes, you know, later sessions, run into each other, say what up. Rough saw on skateboards. Anthony, any more shirts like the one you're wearing or in other colors in XL coming back online? Uh, yes, there are going to be, there's going to be more apparel online sooner than later. Not quite yet, though, but we're working our way there. But we'll definitely keep this shirt in rotation. You can check the back. It's the it's our A logo shirt for people just listening. It's got our A logo, A logo on the front. It says all I need, and then on the back, the A logo big. I love this t-shirt. This was one of the first ones we ever produced. Not in this color, though, but this is like a later color that we mm -hmm. brought back. Talon Tales is writing in some sort of Arabic. Yep. And he doesn't speak it, that's for sure. Yep. Uh, I'll ask to go, but I still need freaking trucks, hardware, grip to get it complete. Well, hustle Do up, bro. chores, man. Chores, hustle up, figure that one out. For get sure. a job. Yeah, work for that thing. You'll you'll appreciate it way more if you grind for that, you know? Um, Quinn McGregor says, I was just in NYC. I skated all day, and it was the best. Hell yeah, it's the best. When's the last time you went to New York? Dude, Dude. it's actually been a while. Damn, I don't know. Me too. Um, I'm a little nervous. Um, I'm a little nervous. I haven't been to the city in a long time. I think August 2017. Oh, I'm way longer than you, dude. Oh, really? I think. We went, like, right before we put out Metal Borough. Nice. That was, like, our last, like, trip for the video was, like, a weekend in New York City. How'd it go? It went pretty good, but we we looked up a hotel, like, last minute, and there was nothing. That's kind of what like, I was doing. Nothing. Oh, Unless shit. it had, like, the only things that were available, like, the review said, like, there was, like, bed bugs and shit, and, like, we were not having that. Not good. So we drove to Stanford, Connecticut, and got a hotel, and then went back to into the city. The How was that? Day. How'd that work out? It wasn't that bad. How it's far like, Stanford? It was, like, a, yeah, close to an hour. I think well, it was a little under an hour. I'm trying to figure out this weekend, that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last Airbnb, week. I think that's uh, the way to go now. Can we do it? What if we have three, four days? Is that yeah, how that I works? I don't think they give a fuck. You have to have an app for an Airbnb? Yeah, you just get the app. Okay. Okay, I know nothing. Let's see, I don't know. I'm, I've never tried any of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, me either. Sounds interesting. Am I going to have to shower with someone? <laughs> I hope they're like That's bald. a requirement. <laughs> hope they're like bald hairy man. No, yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> sure they're like, uh, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I thought the person that owns the house for Airbnb is gone. They just like let you rent out. I hope so. Yeah. That would be weird if they were there. So. <laughs> Imagine. Just like, hey, honey. Like, Hi, what's up, guys? Anthony's in the shower. Don't go in there. I'm shitting. They walk in. <laughs> oh, thanks for the coffee. Thanks for letting us stay. I love you. Oh, that would be so JK, funny. JK. <laughs> Okay, we got more. Bro, NYC has spots on every corner. Just shred the streets of Chinatown. I've been there, done that. Definitely going to do that again. Oh, yeah. And I totally agree. Quinn McGregor, those metal curbs in NYC are beauties. Sick. So true. Oh, this is frozen. Just the live feed? Let's see. Refresher? Oh, no, it's still frozen. Interesting. Hold it down for the audio. Damn, Quinn McGregor, I, brought, I got bed bugs in the Airbnb. Oh, is it frozen still? Dude, thanks for warning. Yeah, it's still frozen. Give it a second. There it is. Oh, it's coming back. All right, we're back, people. We're back. Uh, Wait, so someone got a few comments. Someone but... got air bugs? Yeah. Uh, air yeah, bugs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bed bugs? Bed bugs in an Airbnb. Sketchy, bro. That's the risk you run, I guess, right? I used to shred those metal curbs back when I wrote for Fibro. I'd just go into the city for the weekend and just get lost and be stuck in there. I'd take a Greyhound and just like... Me and Westgate would wake up super early, take Greyhounds and just slum it, get super dirty and trashy from skating the banks and then lurk in the city and... I mean, then lurk around the city and skate all these spots and end up bloody and but get clips. And then we would just like sleep... Uh, 
at people's on people's floors and shit. We were disgusting. <laughs> it was so dirty, but epic. New York's yeah. the best, dude. It's we, so fun. Yeah, we'd skate those metal curbs for hours because yeah. Steve Rodriguez was like, "Let's go." Thankful we live within like bus and driving distance of it, you know. Yeah, it's like definitely it's, cool. it's a far drive, but it's like not that far compared to going like anywhere else. Yeah, it's like the closest if you were to take like a skate trip, basically. If you think about it. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. We're yeah. in the best location because we're an hour from Boston, we're about a half an hour from Providence, and we're four hours from New York. Mm. What do you want? Right. You got those three clutch cities so close. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Honky Lips, shout out to Honky Lips on YouTube. Good looks. <laughs> Uh, sick man, medium concave is chill. He's back in it. Hongi Lip says, I want to set up one of those Schwarzenegger boards and float some airs at the local park. Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to fly out to Mars? Get your ass to Mars, Honky Lips. <laughs> that board's sick. A5, too. Um, okay, we're going to... I want to talk about some other stuff, though. Let's give this a little... Dim it down for a second, boys. <laughs> Good to talk to you on YouTube, but let's... First... Kevin, did you see, we were talking about this earlier a little bit, The everyone was posting it, which was fucking annoying, but the dude getting trucked in the head by the skater? Oh, yeah. The most recent yeah, one? Yeah, no, that was like like three like 16-year-old kids or something, right? They looked like they were 16. Yeah, you know? who knows, who knows. They yeah. could have been 35. And then it was like that one like drunk guy Yeah. swung, yep, I saw that. All right. That was heavy. Give me your take on that situation. I know we only had limited... It was like a 13-second clip. I don't know. It's like a weird way to look at it, right? Because, like... That dude did, like, punch two of those kids in the face. One of them... I saw him that he punched in the face fell and hit their head off the ground behind them. Yeah. Like, fell straight back to his head. So... And then one kid took him out, basically, and tackled him. Yeah, so, his like, homie came in real quick. Yeah, and yeah. then the other kid just kind of grabbed his board and smacked it on top. So it's like, is it self-defense at that point? Because they were tackling him down. It's so hard to say, because, like, imagine you're, like, we're, like, on a trip and someone just, like, punches Corey or something, or punches me in the face and, like, or punches any of us. Like, well, that's where it drops us. Well, you do, like, I get all that. But that situation... I think it could have been... You can. I think there's ways to handle it without hitting somebody in the head with your skateboard. Basically, I'll say that. Well, we came in... The video only comes in, like, when it escalated. Yeah, so who knows what happened before that. But, like, regardless, I don't think they should have been smashing him with a, with oh, a board. No, definitely. But Especially... at the same time, that guy's not at all... Like, he's just as in the wrong as them, you know? That, yeah. In my view, if he's gonna just, like, get drunk and start fighting people... I'm sure even if they were fucking with him he still was the one that like actually punched them in the face you know yeah i mean i mean, they're all wrong in the situation so yeah my my thing is the video came in and it's just like tick comes in when the dude hits the skateboarder and then the skateboarders retaliate a little too much if you ask my honest opinion because yeah. there's no need to truck the dude he was on the ground i get right. that you're pissed that he hit you but like you could literally kill him i mean he right. could he could have knocked you down and hit your head but that's and the thing too yeah he could have killed his friend no problem but i honestly am like dude what, what the fuck how do you end up in that situation like you had to argue for a while like i'd rather just yeah. like put my ego aside just and walk me. away yeah instead of jeopardize the whole crew and right getting, right like, it's like, but you never know. We don't know the whole situation, but dude, it's so disheartening, and everyone's sharing it, and you're just like, this dude just brutally. The dude was pretty someone. fucked up too. He like was the dude out. got hit, like he was like bleeding down his head and shit. I didn't like, see that, but he was flattened yeah. out. Like all I can think is the GX stuff, you know? Yeah. It's like you gotta be really careful these days. I know you gotta defend yourself, but definitely try to avoid any. Like if you're just gonna. I guess it's because just people are young and they got egos. Like running into yeah. confrontation. Yeah, it's because a lot of people, I feel like, just have pent-up aggression and almost, like, yeah. waiting for someone to give them a reason to, like, rock them on the face or, yeah, hit them with their board or something. Just because you're justified doesn't mean it's I remember when I was younger, right. that was the thing. Oh, someone charges at me, I'll hit them with my fucking skateboard. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like, no, you won't. That's a, well, that's a, that was my mentality, but now people are. Yeah, they are. A little Mike V in them. Dude, it's like, Fight I don't days. know. That's not necessary, you know? I don't know. The altercation I had, that was recorded. Yeah. I didn't hit the dude. No, that's what I'm saying. He came at me, like, too, and pump, pushed me well, in the air. didn't have your board, in all fairness. He did throw it over the fence. I'll tell you this. If <laughs> someone did punch me in the face, I would fucking defend myself. But I don't think right. I would truck them. I might go Assault fist to them fist. with a deadly weapon. Fist to fist. Yeah. Unless, like, 
I didn't feel like I could take him. Exactly. That's but that guy like, was on the ground when he trucked him. That's what I mean. That's where I like, <sighs> kind of look at it as that was just kind of fucked up. You it's know? too much. It's yeah. too much. And you can tell it's just too much. And there, it's just like, I'd like to know the context of the situation. You know what I mean? Like what yeah, was we don't going know down enough. before, but it was probably just some no idiots we'll arguing yeah. to each other, and then it just got carried away to the point where the fucking idiot hit the other idiot. Right. And they just lingered around each other. And it was probably over something so trivial that doesn't even matter. And that dude probably has ridiculous hospital bill, bills and damage. And those kids probably have to worry about going to jail and getting arrested. All of something that should have been avoided if possible. Right. Horrific. And then everyone's sharing it, which is crazy because you're right. just watching a skateboard. That's the worst, though, when, like, skateboard videos cycle Facebook because then you have, like, just pages of yuppies like, oh, fuck these kids, these little scumbags. They know? might have a point in some of them, though. I know. Not gonna I'm lie. Saying, some of them are fucking little pricks. You shouldn't be just, doing. like, paint skateboarders <laughs> in such a bad light, you know what I mean? I know, like, not just walk away from a conflict. Yeah, but... Fuck Even, him. like, the Lynch thing. I remember when that kid got so arrested at Lynch, dude. Stupid. Like, reading the Facebook comments on that made me want to throw up. It oh. was, like, ridiculous how many people were like, oh, maybe this punk shouldn't have talked back to a state cop. And it's like, maybe a state cop shouldn't go to a public facility with its lights on and start telling people that you gotta leave because it's yeah. dark out. Like, yeah. what? They're all the idiots. park was open. Yeah, that one was embarrassing for skateboarders in this, and, and the And cops. for the state police, yeah. for sure, yeah. Because they're all supposed to be adults, but they all were acting like children. Right. Yeah, it was so stupid. Yeah. It's like, this could have been averted. Oh, 100%. Someone could have used their brain and language I know. I still don't know. It's like, uh, I could only imagine, like, what must have been going through that guy's head where he's just like, oh, we better go to lynch and break this up. At least, like, at least no one got trucked in that situation. Yeah. That's a good thing, you Seriously. Know? Fucking brutal. Uh, anyone though. else hear about this? Let's see. Oh, he's uh, 10. Scroll down. He goes, I'm 10, I can't get a job. Oh, that was from earlier, yeah. <laughs> Elemental, too. Dude, Dude, then do some chores. Save up, bro. I don't get it. money from chores either. All right, well, you got to hustle something, dude. I don't know. Go yeah. do yard work for your neighbors. Figure it out, bro. Nothing's free. You got to hustle, man. I'll be higher than an astronaut. I don't know what that's pertaining, but that's a funny as hell. <laughs> um, the whole situation was fucked. That guy obviously should not hit him. I'm hitting him in the first place. I get the skater fighting back for obvious reasons, but I think the skater went a little too hard. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Quinn, I, totally. I think that he should have defended himself, but I don't know. If they were probably struck. young, honestly, you know, because that's just some shit like, like a You're younger kid would do. Yeah, yeah, they're just a teenager, and they're like, oh my god, this drunk guy's actually attacking me and my friends right now. Even though one of my friends just tackled him, I'm still gonna smash him with my board. Clip's gonna go viral. Yeah. Clip. Clip's gonna go viral. I wonder what like like a, a jury would way. make of that, though. You know what I mean? Of the full video Not like good. if that were to go to court did anyone like did was anyone arrested in that or anything there's probably multiple angles out there i can't really imagine that not one. good not good dude yeah that's fucked up oh i can't pay for stuff i don't get any money besides like five dollars on easter 50 on my b-day and 50 on christmas we're not rich we're not rich at all Dude, that's more than enough for a board, though. Yeah, and you Same. can you, there's there's other means of finding money. Yeah, you can ask you can ask people if you could do chores or work. There's ways to hustle, man. You gotta just figure it out. It's not gonna be easy, and that's what's gonna be good is that it's gonna be yeah. a little bit of a struggle, but you'll get that board, the trucks, the wheels, and then you're gonna cherish that thing. Exactly. And you'll shred it till it's dead, and by that time you're gonna have a job, or you'll be able to get some money and keep it going. And you could always enter the board giveaway. You never know. Might get some luck too. Mm-hmm. Blood, Sweat, and Tears skateboarding video says, I, I sweet chin music him, Shawn Michaels. Is that a wrestling reference? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know that one. Yeah, it's a wrestling move. Nice. Man attacks, you do what you gotta do. Honky Lip says that. I get it, but I don't know about the trucking, bro. Yeah. You could have hit him with the back of the board. He was already drunk and could on the ground. Could have hit him like. with the board, though. They could have just, I don't know. Like, the, the first kid that got punched was sitting there slapping himself in the cheek, telling the guy to fucking hit him. Um, you know what yeah. I mean? So like, you know, it's a it's a sad situation and it sucks and it's yeah. like it's, it's it was instigated on both sides so no one's really in the right they're both in the wrong because they both wanted that to happen in my opinion like the group of skaters were waiting for that dude to attack so they could pull some shit and that guy was waiting for them to say say enough so he could pull some shit yeah everyone's guilty yeah guilty of having the ego and ruining the day exactly and possibly exactly other things so stupid man. right yeah if you're out there and you're listening and you're 
maybe young and you don't know whether you should be get, if you should like get into altercations while skating because sometimes it is fun Dude, i get walk it. the fuck away but don't my first and foremost thing is like skateboarding first so like don't jeopardize the spot right like, try to be cool come back later if there's a dickhead you could say what you want but don't get close enough to get into a physical altercation because if you get close unless like if someone comes out and just attacks you all by all means defend yourself but like if you're young and you just, like, don't want to be told what's up, just get told what's up, swallow your pride, and leave, and go skate more spots instead right. of trucking the person. It's not a good idea. Because that could take you into court and other things that could really ruin your fucking right. life. Bro. And that guy, as dumb and stupid as that drunk guy was, he might be in some serious damage, dude. That looks so brutal, the audio of that. Man. Right. Oh, man. All right, this is going to be the bummer podcast for everybody out there. So we're moving on to uh, R.I.P. Pablo. You want to fill me in oh, on yeah, this one? Oh, yeah, Pablo uh, Ramirez. He was part of the GX yeah, crew. Yeah, Peace Bliff. Yeah, they called him that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The he GX was, um, crew is dropping left and right, dude. And this yeah, is man. amongst the same thing, like, right? So fucking sad that, like, that happened. That was the same type of situation, right? No, well, he was, um... The secu- no, not Pablo, but the GX situation. Oh, Jesse Vieira, you mean, yeah. But they were all part of that, right? It was a whole No, crew. well, it was, like, it was, like, uh, six people, but I don't know if they actually identified, like, who it was. I think one of them was, uh... Doesn't matter. Yeah. The crew was there. The GX crew was there, and they trucked a dude, basically, right? And yeah, they him, yeah, And then yeah. that dude got, like, permanent damage, right? Yeah. And then now Pablo is part of the crew, and he what happened to him exactly? Well, Pablo passed yesterday because he was, like, uh, one of the, I, one of the articles I read, I think, said he was, like, sketching and then fell off, and then I think he got, like, hit by a car behind him or something. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Nightmare and a half. So fucked up. He was so fun to watch skate too, because you could just tell he just like fucking loved it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. He was he was the dude that was pushing down the fucking hills in the GX one thousand video that I showed you uh, recently. Nice. Is that El Camino video? Okay. He like ollies over a car. That clip was like burned into my brain. I think and he's, he like, posted. Yeah, that. I posted that on my story yeah. just because like, dude. That was Pablo. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Man, sorry. Shout out Legend to like, for sure. Yeah, shout out to like, his whole family and stuff, man. I feel the pain. I, yeah, it sucks the thoughts and prayers man. to his friends and family, man. Seriously, things are getting crazy out yeah. there. Let's stick to just skating. Mm-hmm. I guess sketching is skating, but yeah, dude, that's just a freak accident, anybody, dude. Yeah. That's I'm nothing sketched. more than a freak accident, you know? Because yeah. I can only imagine how often like that whole crew sketches. Everybody in San Francisco probably sketches whenever they can, you know? Might sketch in New York. It's just yeah, it's just a freak accident. I remember when I actually when I was younger, um, my buddy Cole, his uh, mom had a friend who his son, her son was sketching like um uh like a like a mail truck or something and he hit a crack and hit his head and like was like in a coma or something oh. yeah yeah this was when we were younger so like our parents used to flip out about like sketching yeah but dude it's like that's just such a freak accident you know yeah oh, but man. yeah sucks if it happens fucking though. sad yeah yeah brutal brutal um i wanted to go back to youtube real quick yeah Blake Sud Martinez is telling homie to sell snacks at school. There you go. That's a hustler mentality. Yeah. You got some pudding. Try to sell that shit at school, my G. <laughs> or maybe Rake. Um, John Escavel says, sup, pimps? Um, he's saying RIP to Peace Bliff. Um, so sad. GX is the best. That's Kevin McQuaid. John says, Pablo was at court with other friends to support Jesse Vera at a court hearing. They took a break from lunch, and that's when it happened 15 minutes after he left the courthouse. Oh, man. Are you man. fucking kidding me, bro? It's like tripping and then tripping again, you know? A trip, that's double so trip. fucked up, man. Oh, uh, brutal. Wow, that's, that's if like that's true, horrible, that's insane, dude. man. That's some fucking... Get it out. I hope that's yeah. the end of that. Whatever yeah, that yeah. is, I hope that stops. Shit, man. Brutal taking losses out there left and right yeah it's kind of crazy man a lot of people in skateboarding have passed like over the past year i feel like you know yeah is it just more people skateboard nowadays so it's just the yeah. numbers get they get bigger i think it's like, like that 
Yeah. For sure. You don't really, like, before skating was smaller, so there's not so many people as the numbers yeah, grow. You yeah. start to get more Right, more people have, there. like, a personality in it, and, like, with social media, I feel like there's just more people that have followings and, and stuff. And the odds and... of people dying is just increased. Exactly. It's just well, it's just, yeah, are... exactly. It's insane, man. Yeah. Because I don't remember this happening, like, all the time, you know? It's right. Like, it's like an everyday right. thing nowadays. Maybe I'm being extreme, but... Jesus. Yeah, that's why that's why I gotta take our moments to be thankful, man. Look around, be thankful for everything you have and the people that you are in your life and like just be thankful for your own life and just try to be uh careful with your life, you know? Cuz you have the power of influence for good or bad and like if you truck someone in the fucking head over a simple argument, and not only are you might be in trouble and that dude you truck might be in trouble, but like the people around that love both of you are now going to be hurting if there's, like, real trouble, you know? Yeah. The same with that security guard bullshit. It's like, I don't know. There's no need to get that violent over it, you know? Mm -hmm. There's just no need. Right. I don't, unless, you like, you're really defending for your life. So you can even run. I, Dude, I've had parts where I've just walked off or I've ran away, but not, like, scared, but just like, hey, I'm just not dealing with this crazy shit. I'm just right. breaking out. Get in the van. Let's fucking go. Let's yeah. not deal with these. They're about to arrest us else. or something. Yeah. Like. I'd rather not get arrested. I'd rather not right. get a fight. You can tell when shit's getting crazy. You yeah. know what I mean? And you then can it's feel like, it. at that yeah. point, walk the fuck away when you get that weird feeling in your stomach that you know, like, it's about to go south. Yeah. There's definitely times where you gotta defend yourself and crazy shit happens, but those are so fucking rare. Right. And most of those situations are just like, you could take, swallow your pride and get away from those situations yeah. and not end up in life changing, life altering situations that destroy worlds. Not just mm -hmm. yours, but others, you know? Like, mm -hmm. worlds. Fucking brutal, man. Sorry for everyone out there, man, that ha has lost someone this year, too. Yeah, or last year. It's just, we are connected now, not just physically, but digitally, too. Right, so we right. hear about all the losses. Yeah, everything just them. floods in, dude. Every yeah. all information is so, like, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fucking brutal, man. Nice. All right, board giveaway. Let's go back here. That's good. Nice. Let me get comfortable real quick. <laughs> really drinking. Just. Yeah, I've had a lot of coffee today. Smoking a little weed right now for the boys. R.I.P. A little no. relax. I always think about that, dude. I try to, like... You gotta understand your power and influence, man. And then yeah. you gotta try to aim it for good, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of people... There's a lot of, like, weird depression and, like... People like kind of trend, trying to trend like destruction and like depression and like yeah. trying to make it cool or trying to be like destroyers of worlds or whatever. Like, I get all that, but I don't know, dude. I'd rather like create and build than just fucking tear down and destroy. I think mm -hmm. it's easier to destroy shit. It takes less like patience and focus and, yeah, and hope and faith. And, yeah, like, it's easier to hate than love. Yeah, it's just like. I'd rather focus on trying to build and create and share yeah. than just fucking be like everything. I'm a feather in the wind and nothing matters and life sucks and like right. I don't. I've always tried to fight that mentality my whole life because like things were kind of odds or against mm -hmm. against me and my family and people. Like we started out in, in the negative, so I always was trying to fight that in my head because yeah. I've had those thoughts of just like how deep it gets where you just feel depressed and lonely mm -hmm. or you think things are worthless or you're worthless or like the tunnel gets super deep, you know, and you're like stuck there and it becomes mm -hmm. patterns and you have to break those patterns. Like sometimes you always feel like it's going to rain because you did take a lot of losses yeah. in a row and things. It's, ha it's hard to see the good side of things, you know, mm -hmm. but it's there. You know what I mean? Right. Just as sure as the negative and hellish landscape is there, the fucking positive is there too, you know? Mm -hmm. You can't always be in heaven. You can't always be in hell. I'm sure it's in the middle, but I strive to be on one side or the other. Like I try to be on the positive side more than anything. Hmm. I feel like when you're when when I was young, I was more self destructive. You feel like I think when you're young, you don't have enough experience to understand that you could get old and yeah. it could be graceful and yeah, age and like success not. and like yeah. happiness and like you joy. just don't have a concept of how long life is yeah and then you come into this fucking world and then the trump's president right. people are fucking offing themselves you're like yeah. what's going on seriously dude? Like, you know what i mean like gotta learn how to roll with it 
you gotta just know that uh yeah you gotta just give yourself time time mm -hmm. to figure it out develop like it dude your emotion like when i was like i'm trying to think i definitely was like 20 to 25 like even younger than that though like 13 to 25 dealt with depression super heavy and negativity it was always like looming every day like i always was like it, it, and there were I had real reasons to to be like that, but I mm. I fought it. I was yeah. like fighting it growing up. Some of my, some of my family members couldn't fight it, and it kind of mm -hmm. consumed them. And life was uh, making their decisions for them instead of the other way around, where you you decide where you're gonna go and what you're gonna do and what your actions mean and what yeah. you can influence. Trap you know? a lot of people fall into. Yeah, it's it's like t taking responsibility for your actions and thoughts, you know, which is a hard fucking thing to do. It's really hard, especially if your emotions are all over the map and you're just like highs and lows and extremes, which I was. I had like super depression, but then I was super excited about things too because I loved skating and like I had like a lot of highs and lows, you know? It wasn't good, mm -hmm. man. It was pretty fucking brutal. Yeah. But like people go through that still right. every day, you know? Like and yeah. some people grow up to be like 30 to 40, 50 and still can't fight that, you know? Mm -hmm. My mom struggled with it till she passed, you know what I mean? Like, hell. She was trapped in hell, you know? So it's just, like, <clears throat> it's a lot of work we gotta do, man. But we, we add purpose, and we add value, and we create it. I mean, just through, like, putting our time and effort and aiming at things and, and caring about them. That's what adds value mm -hmm. to things, you know? You have to engage yourself with something. If you don't, you sit back and you just think everything should be handed to you or that you're a victim. You're gonna get, like, lost because it takes away your own sovereignty and your own power. Right. You know, it's like not a bad thing to have power, but it's just like you have to understand that you have you can use power for good and bad, mm -hmm. you know, or you don't even have to use it at all. But you can be aware that you can have it, you know, like, right. it's hard, man. Yeah, super hard. All right. Lighter topic. What's your all favorite ice cream flavor? John Esquivel saves the podcast right there. <laughs> yeah, John. I'll go deep, bro. Don't get me going deep, man. Life is not easy. It's not yeah. easy. It's hard, and there's plenty of pitfalls out there that people people dig holes, and and you have to run through this field and this map, and it's dark, completely dark, and you're running in the dark, and there's holes that people have dug that they fell into, and mm -hmm. that tons of people have fell into. Yeah, you know, or they dug it knowing you'll fall into it, mm -hmm. trying to set you up in the dark, and you're just that's life at times. You know, you're like, oh shit, I wish I could fly over these fucking potholes and just like. Right. But we create this landscape, you know? It's just... <clears throat> uh, favorite ice cream, though. <laughs> Robert, gotta stay humble and respect even the douches. Wow! Robert. Wait, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Well, I just like that. I like that comment by Robert. <laughs> you don't gotta stay humble. I will. And respect <laughs> even the douches. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good comment, yeah. <laughs> You're right, man. You gotta see yourself in them. No, seriously. You're all capable of it. Be humble and be humbled, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was well said, too. Mm -hmm. Favorite ice cream? Cookies and cream right here. Ooh, All day. I love ooh. Oreo. Can we put thing. cookie dough in the cookies ooh, and cream? Ooh, that's good. Yeah, that'd yeah. be dope as hell. Yeah. Sometimes I just like straight vanilla, though. Mm. <laughs> vanilla soft serve is delicious. Yeah. yeah. Delicious. Dude, Robert's from Aloha from Hawaii, boys. Hey, what up? Hell yeah. Shout out in Hawaii. Trying to make it out that way eventually. Definitely got to catch some waves out that way. <laughs> Aloha. Uh, dude, I think I'd be so bad at surfing if I ever tried. Dip the knees in the yeah, salt water just, like, out there. Not coordinated enough for it. Kevin Russell with a sea turtle. <laughs> Kevin surfing That would be way sicker. I've, su I've swam with a dolphin before. What? Yeah. Watch out, bro. That was at Discovery Cove. Dolphins are aggressive, in, like, bro. Seventh grade. No, they were they were in captivity. They were yeah, that doesn't mean anything. They, they get horny just like I everybody else. Oh, yeah. calm down. No, seriously. Calm. I believe it. A photo of it. I feel like you I told me. it on the lips. A oh, wild animal. Dirty, dirty. Dolphin. Well, it was a captive dolphin, so it wasn't a wild animal, but... And Kevin only kisses one way with his tongue out. Yeah. I may have French kissed him. <laughs> it was, I wish I could do a good dolphin right now. <laughs> That's what it Dude, their like. skin feels wicked weird. It feels like you could just like poke your finger through it. Did it's you, like styrofoam. Did that? Did Did you finger the butthole? No, dude, it looks so weird. The butthole. <laughs> dude, like a butthole. Dude, no, it's not even like that. It like looks like somebody just like sawed a circle into their head. Oh, sketchy. Yeah, it's a, dude. It's so weird looking. All right. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kid, fucking making up dolphins out here. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> 
Yeah, mm-hmm. dolphins are scary, man. Their dicks are super big, and, <laughs> and they get real rapey from what I've on what I've read. Oh yeah, no, we did read articles about yeah. that one day, right? It yeah. was like a research doll they sent down, right? And they found it like a dolphin cave, all ripped up. That's me punching at dolphins. Headlocking <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> Bush There's riding. also that video online where that chick like is like holding her arms out and the dolphin hops up onto the dock and just starts humping her. <laughs> <laughs> well, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Classic dolphin. We make it back to dolphin, dude. Always. How about Chad Caruso, 50 tricks, 50 days? Cool. Oh, yeah. If you're skating a lot, you should do that. I didn't watch the video, though. Um, ice cream all the time, though. I do like vanilla. And I might have to go vanilla, because like if it was like my all-time favorite, it's just classic. Mm. For sure. Vanilla ice cream. Oh, all yeah. day. For the boys! Um, Elwood, keep it down back there. Honky Lips. Dude is off the hook at my age, touring the country and having a blast. I wonder who he was talking about. Mm. Any idea? Mm. No, I don't know. Sorry. Blake uh, Sudden Martinez. Shout out to my man in the gray beanie. Sorry I don't know your name. I was talking to Kevin. You helped me get my car started after it died at edge and saved me so much time and aggravation. You're a real ass. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah okay, okay. <laughs> Dude, karma repaid me the other day, actually, because uh, I was letting my uh, mom use my car to go somewhere, and the battery was dead. Wow. And I was parked on the sixth floor of a parking garage. Yeah, top it off a little bit. Keep and, it uh, So I put it in neutral and had her sitting in the... Um, in the uh, driver's seat and <laughs> i like pushed the car out and then while it was rolling i hopped into the passenger seat wow. and rolled down the parking garage and happened to see a dude in his car so we slowed down we're like yo do you uh could you give us a jump and he was like yeah so we stopped right there nice and he jumped us but we rolled down like three of the floors Fucking yeah, action yeah. Style. yeah. And then I just back to my room, but yeah, it was so funny yeah that's but hell yeah man thing. anytime thanks for saving me 15 minutes of doing nothing at the park Sh- yeah, shout out to Blake, Blake Martinez. Pretty sure it's pretty slow that day. <clears throat> yeah, that's right though. That's see, yeah. I like the internet now. Right, redemption. Right, internet just got redeemed. Right, all those trucking videos and then a compliment like that is like <laughs> redeems the whole day. You know, yeah, hell yeah, <clears throat> for sure. I got um, some solid jumper cables. My old car was not reliable. <laughs> Um, John Escavel says his name is Red Juice. Shout out Red Juice. I hope you're killing him, my friend. <laughs> Wherever you are. <laughs> He's talking about me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ken McQuaid, there's too many good flavors. I get it, dude. Ice cream is like the best thing ever. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Especially if you go Ben and Jerry's route where they're just oh, mashing yeah. all the flavors together. Yeah. <laughs> there's some wild flavors yeah. out there. My girl turned me on to uh, this ice cream that only has like two or three ingredients. Oh, and you can read them. They're like... And uh, it's like $5 for like a small pint, yeah. but it tastes like ice cream. Nice. And I'm like, this is amazing. It's <laughs> only like two, three things, you know? Yeah. It doesn't have that like full artificial cookie dough like right, yeah. sugar taste. Yeah, we're like, yeah. <laughs> you know, twitching because you ate a whole pint. You know? yeah. Roll me over. Right. Roll me over. <laughs> you go shit your brain up yeah. the next day. You're like, yeah, maybe the whole carton of ice cream is a bad idea. <laughs> but loved every second of it. <laughs> Um, what's the craziest flavor of ice cream you can think of? Like a Ben and Jerry's type? Is there anything that's super crazy? I know there's like... I they, mean, there's a bunch of crazy ones out there. Not that I can name my mind. I wonder what the craziest ice cream is. Try to Google that. Type in like craziest ice cream combination. Let's see what people have done. There's going to be like some in Asia that have like frog or something. Or down south where they're just like, yeah, gator ice cream. Have Tell you it. tried them? Oh, dude. dude. Matcha tea? Yeah. That stuff. It's been, long, that? it's been a long time. I don't even remember what it is. Yeah, because a lot of that, that's been coming around lately. It's pretty good. It kind of has like a weird, like, it's like kind of vanilla y taste. Just tea? Thing. I think my girl drinks it. Yeah, but they make it like an ice cream flavor now. Really? Like, I guess they have like Japanese Kit Kats that are like green matcha flavor. Oh, and, yeah. yeah. I actually, dude, when I went back in the day, when I went overseas to like China and Japan, they were up on the candy game. They had flavors of like natural dude, yeah. fruit for like yeah. Kit Kats. I came across an Instagram page the other day that was all these exotic sodas. Yeah. And nice. it was, dude, oh my God. Wow. They had like crazy shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Overseas, dude, there's some shit you never even heard of. Oh my god, dude, look, it's 12 strange but real ice cream flavors. Click on that. Raw horse flesh, pickled mango. (laughs) It It looks like dot 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 after. Oh, you're right, you're right. Uh, I want to tell you a story about my, uh, 
Raw horse flesh. Holy shit. What? Oh, I want to tell you a story what happened at my uh, family's house after. Go back up. Go back up. Corner. Oh, stay right there. There are two dozen attractions within Tokyo's indoor... You son of a bitch. We're getting advertised at. Popped up. I don't want to see your parrot. There are two dozen <laughs> attractions within Tokyo's indoor amusement park. Not Namja Town. But it would be easy to spend all your time there pondering the many... Many out there flavors at Ice Cream City where raw horse flesh, cow tongue, salt, I don't know what that last one is. Yakisoba. Yakisoba, octopus, and squid are among the flavors that have tickled or strangled visitors' <laughs> taste buds. Let me just say... Squid flavored ice cream, you could not pay me to, unless it was like somewhere above 10 grand to eat that. Yeah, yeah. Let me just finish that by saying... <laughs> <laughs> to all of them. To every single one. I bet Sammy would try them. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, if you get me a couple beers, uh, I'll eat them you all. You ever tried blood pudding? Watch your mouth, bro. You ever, you ever hear that? I don't like blood in my pudding. Yeah. I have. I've heard it. You ever heard of blood orange? I don't like blood associated with my food. I'm sorry. Yeah. Jesus. Have I you had blood that. pudding? No. Fuck no. Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't eat that shit. I'm well, sorry I'm if that savvy. insults anyone, my reaction like that. Who but. cares if it insults you? <laughs> fuck you, bro. Don't mean to hate on your palate, but... <laughs> <laughs> Don't like it, bro. Yeah, no, uh, that shit looks gross. Corn on the cob ice cream seems interesting. That my seems friend. gross. Still opening Max and Mina's in Queens, New York. Oh shit, I might have to get some corn ice cream this weekend. <laughs> 1998. Brothers owners Bruce and Mark Becker have created more than 5,000 one of a kind ice cream flavors, many of them adopted by their grandparents' original recipes. Daily flavor experiments mean that menu is ever changing, but corn on the cob, a summer favorite. Horse radish, garlic, Pizza, lox, and jalapeno have all been made the lineup. In ice cream, dude. Garlic ice cream, huh? See, that's one thing that kind of annoys me. <laughs> like, when you get an ice like, Because when I think of ice cream, yeah. I have, like, that classic vanilla. Right. When you have a craving, <laughs> craving for ice cream and you want it, that's what I want. I don't Horse really... radish. Yeah, I don't want you to ruin it by just making it extreme, you know? Like pizza. I can't imagine they sell any of this. Fuck you and your horse. Like, I'm sure they offer it, but I can't imagine people actually buy it. Boatloads of just fucking horseradish ice cream, Kevin. Jalapeno ice cream? Are you kidding me? This is a novelty. They probably sell it by the scoops or something, right? I'd imagine. Yeah, oh, imagine you get, like, a cone that's like, yeah, can I get a horseradish garlic pizza cone? <laughs> <laughs> And ice cream, that's the problem. I can't, like, I don't want it. I want pizza hot and I want my ice cream cold. Wait, what's this next one? I don't know how to pronounce that, dude. Oh. Foy grass. It doesn't even explain Fake what it grass, is. maybe. Pear with City. blue cheese, that's the next one. New York City's Odd Fellows takes the odd in its name seriously and has become synonymous with experimental flavors. Since opening their doors in 2013, they, they estimate that they have concocted approximately 300 different kinds of cold stuff, including a foy grass Veritel. I don't know what the fuck any of that was. Thanks for wasting our time. What website is this? Mentalfloss.com. Uh, mental yes. Pair with blue cheese ice cream. Sweet salt. Uh, salty sweet. No. Blue cheese, come on. Is the preferred palette at Portland, Oregon based corsets out there, bro? To try anything. I watched a documentary about, I believe it was Portland. Yeah? Portland or Seattle. Sammy man. said Portland's pretty sick. He went there for work for a little bit. It might not be Portland. It might have been Seattle. I think oh. it was Seattle's dying, dude. And it's about their like growing population of homeless drug addicts. Oh yeah. And the police don't even police them. Yeah, dude. Sammy saw that. Yeah, yeah they was just on like a story on Instagram and dude yeah. was shooting himself up in Seattle. Yeah. And yeah. they're just like the documentary, I don't know I how actually... true it is, but like they were just the homeless people basically were taking over the town. You know like, it's what? Fucking I don't know if it's still there. there, but there used to be a live stream of Everett, Washington, of like this one block that's just like a bunch of it's like Brutal. Skid Row, basically. That's SF has Skid Row, and yeah. Yeah. downtown LA has Skid Row. Yeah, 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 it's basically like that. Yeah, it was just dude, seen it was that crazy. tent cities yeah. and shit where just people make it their life to yeah, just dude. be vagrants. Yeah, it's crazy. It's kind of like skateboarders do that to some degree, but like you don't right. want to end up like living with a drug problem on the streets. Like that's so extreme. <laughs> it sucks, man. Some people spiral. Yeah. It's pulling us back. Back to ice cream. Ghost pepper. Oh, man. I don't like any... I don't like hot peppers. You ever pepper. try with a hot pepper? I don't like hot peppers. I, I'll do them just to like... What's the hottest one you've tried? It's made me cry. What was it? I don't know. Really? But it probably wasn't even that hot. I ate a <laughs> habanero pepper, which like... Is that super hot? It's super hot, but like compared to other peppers, it's not that hot. 
comparatively. Like, if you were to compare it to, like, actual, like, crazy fucking other peppers, yeah. it's, like, like on the lower pepper, end of probably. the scale, yeah. but it was insanely fucking hot, dude. I, like, bit into it, and it just tastes like a green pepper, and I was like, oh, this ain't shit. And then, like, the liquid soaked into my tongue, and, dude, I, like... I almost like couldn't breathe because yeah. it was like I, I swallowed it too. Brutal. And um, brutal. Dude, like that I, I felt like I couldn't even breathe because like my whole throat got wicked hot and I just had to like turn the sink on and just rinse out my mouth basically. Yeah. And dude, it didn't get better for like thirty to forty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That's it was brutal. like burning that whole time. At least you survived it. Yeah. It could be worse. Yeah, dude, and it like felt like it gave myself like food poisoning. My stomach hurt wicked bad after. Why'd you do it? Just because? Yeah, just to try you it. Dare. I watch hot ones a lot, I got inspired. Yeah. And it's one where they're like snotting and Yeah, awesome. yeah, they eat all the hot wings and I wanted to get a concept of what they're dealing with and they are <sighs> fuck that. Yeah. Not into it. <laughs> I bet, like, the smell of the wings they eat burns, like, your face. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just having that in your vicinity is, like, too much. I clears can't, your, can't, yeah. probably clears your sinuses. Super yeah. Well. Yeah, man. I don't like my, I don't like my food where it burns my mouth where it won't go away the whole meal and I can't focus on anything but the burning in my mouth, you know? Yeah. So it's, like, a happy medium somewhere in there. You show me number 12? Cheetos, ice cream. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Right. I like it. Big Gay Ice Cream started out as an experimental ice cream truck and morphed into one of New York City's most swoon-worthy ice cream shops where the toppings, not the ice cream, make for an... Oh, okay. That's a little different. An imitatable indulgence. One yeah. of their most recent culinary inventions. inspired cone where vanilla and cheese ice cream is dipped into Cheeto dust. That's disgusting. That's still fucking gross. But it's not as bad as corrupting the ice cream with the Cheetos in it. Yeah. At least it's a topping. Like if you want to have a little topping, go for that. Lobster, dude. What? Fuck off. Lobster ice cream. Yeah. No, Hold on. Don't ahead. let the chocolate in the title fool you. There's no chocolate in the title. Did you see it? Just said. Oh oh, 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 oh. Ben, ben and Bill's Chocolate Emporium. I'm guessing that's where you get it. Don't let the chocolate in the title fool you. Ben and Bill's Chocolate Emporium in in Bar Harbor, Maine makes the most of the pine tree state's most famous delicacy with its signature lobster ice cream, a butter ice cream-based treat with fresh lobster folded into each bite. That is disgusting. Yeah, I don't want it with my ice cream. Lobster's my favorite food. Lobster's my favorite food. So when they're describing it, I'm picturing salty, buttery lobster. But then... If it's you, an ice cream. The ice cream is not what I want to be like. It's extreme. It's too Ugh. fucking extreme for me, bro. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Enough ice cream. No. Enough ice cream. I know. Yeah. I agree. I play it safe, dude. I'm just going classic vanilla. And if we're going to get real crazy, I want some cookie dough in there. Yeah. You know? Wait. Those ice cream flavors are sending it too far. Mm-hmm. Hell Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cookies and cream is a solid choice too. Ooh, Quinn says strawberry. Strawberries are delicious. How do you feel about strawberry milk? Love it. I love that. Don't too. even drink milk anymore, but um, I love strawberry milk. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I want to drink. You ever try vanilla milk? I might drink milk. Nesquik makes vanilla. Don't you dare me to drink milk. milk? Super good. Go ahead. Do it. <laughs> you won't. No, I've had Nesquik. Dude, when I was younger, we had the. We'd have Nesquik by the spoonful, and you just put way too much in, you know? Yep. Chocolate or vanilla into it. Do you ever do that with the Tang? You ever have Tang, Kevin? What's Tang? It's like astronauts drink it, but it's basically like orange crystal sugar, and you just have it, like, dip, get water, and you dip a couple spoons of Tang in it. No. Oh. It turns into, like, orange sugar Kool-Aid. No. It's fucking amazing. I used to have the yogurt that you'd, like, pour powder into, and it would change the color or the flavor or something. Oh, okay, but, yeah, yeah. Nothing like that. Yeah, you are you're missing out, dude. <laughs> Someone said, I dare you to drink milk straight from the udder. Serious question, Kevin. I've drank raw milk before. But would you suck it from a, a cow titty? No. No? Straight off? No, probably not. That'd probably be, not. That'd be so gross. Imagine <laughs> if it was, like, hot. Uh, <laughs> you know the what udder was, like, warm. Like, no, no, like, the milk itself was, like, uh, hot after being squeezed out of the udder. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? bet. Shit, like, I fuck bet. that. <laughs> Just... Kevin's udder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not drinking from Kevin's udder, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, I have drank raw milk. Yeah, that's like a thing. Yeah, you, you can just buy it. Right? My uncle recommends it. Really? Yeah, he survived. Uh, he's the one I told you about who survived non-Hodgkin's lymphoma like six times. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Survivor. Fucking crazy. 
But he eats, like, all organic, all natural everything. Stays away from everything. Yeah, he throws, like, a spoonful of organic butter in his coffee to sweeten it. Nice. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a little out there, but he's awesome. Mm. If yeah. you survive I've six seen him times. take, he eats, like, all grass-fed <laughs> meat, and I've seen him literally take a strip of raw bacon and roll it, like, put a little bit of ground beef in it and then roll it up like a sushi roll and eat it raw. Raw bacon. Raw bacon. Bacon. Can you eat raw, raw ground beef? No issues from a grass-fed uh, cow that, like, you couldn't do it with like grocery store meat, but you can with um, like natural meat. Yeah, well, apparently, like, cow is cow is only one part of, part of that. The other part is pork. Yeah, pigs, don't they? That's disgusting. Raw pig? No, maybe you can. I don't know. We'll he see. he begs to differ. I'm gonna look this up. Yeah, yeah. The internet's gonna find Dude, out. Dude, he eats like um, like if he cooks a steak tip. He like slaps it on the grill. I love like steak. mostly yeah, you can, raw. I like my meat sort of raw. Like you can just like dust it. With no, meat. but he also eats like raw cold meat. Like pulls right. it out of the package, not even touched one, like by the grill once. But let's see what the, if this is a general consensus. Eating raw or undercooked pork infected with the parasitic worms, trichinella, trichinella spiralis, can lead to trichinosis. Ooh, that shit's so, fucked. You probably can do it, but it's like. You can't, like, you have to have... Yeah, he shit. buys all his food from a farm, so I'm guessing that's the only catch, is, like, the fact that it's not being treated with weird shit. Yeah. Because a lot Things of the meat... Might have cancer in them. Yeah, well, a lot of the meats that they sell in grocery stores are treated to, like, last longer, you know? Shit like that. Yeah, stuff that And like... he stays away... Dude, he doesn't even fucking use, like, Febreze or, like, you know what I mean? He, he has no sort of... That seems like the way to go, though, maybe. Oh, 100%. It's the only to way you degree. can fucking go, you know? Yeah, to some degree. Yeah. As, as much as you can do that, you know? All right. That's the one thing about... Uh, He's got a YouTube video out there, I'm pretty sure, about talking about surviving. So yeah. you can find it. I'll throw the link in. Yeah, it'd be yeah. way sick, yeah. dude. We should watch it after, too. Yeah, it's I haven't watched it in a while. I don't know if it's still out there, but I could find it. Yeah, man, it's just no joke. Alright, uh, John says, you can actually eat meat straight from an animal if it's right when you kill it because the mm -hmm. meat hasn't had time for bacteria to grow on it, assuming the animal is healthy, of course. Interesting. That's the problem with assuming it's healthy because those things shit and then lay in it, you know? Like, I oh, watched yeah, what Elwood like and Emma do. They're disgusting. Dogs are disgusting. <laughs> and they just sleep Yeah, but you don't eat dog meat. <laughs> no, I know, but just think about how filthy a dog is. A cow, like, other ant pig is probably the filthiest. And then if you just killed it and ate Pigs it. Pigs are gross, but I mean, I could see cows not being too dirty. Man, yeah, because they're too they're tall to do that. I'm pretty sure they can't even lay down. And cows just have, their knees don't bend. Have you ever Cow tipped? No. No? <laughs> I like that you asked that. Though. I haven't, but when I was young. Is that a real old, thing? Yeah, do? people really do that shit. Push cows over? Yeah. I remember going up to visit my grandparents in Vermont when I was younger and like family members leaving and like being like, yeah, we're gonna go cow tipping. Dude. <laughs> you can trouble. kill a cow from it though, I'm pretty really? sure. Yeah. I was gonna yeah. say, nowadays you'd probably get like yeah, demonized, yeah. like. <laughs> Beating up cows and shit. <laughs> cow yeah. tipping. You think there's any videos? Dude, there? there's gotta be. Yes, oh, there is. Cow? I oh, love her. God. That one has the most views. Oh, wait, hold up. See if there's like a compilation. Oh, this one just looks like a guy going out in the daylight just dropping cows. Sometimes you gotta just take it out. I think normally cow. people do them at night, like when they're sleeping. That's what they were just saying on this, actually. I saw it. Which one should we do? Which this one, one has. Let's click this one. This one just, this one just looks like this it. guy's just going for it. Are we it. about to watch a dude just bully on a cow and push him over? I feel like a cow can fuck us up if they want it, right? No. It's like a bull, basically. Yeah, a bull would fuck you up. A cow won't do shit. But how far off is a cow from a bull? A you know? lot. Okay. <laughs> Maybe just, especially if it's just one that's being used to suck udders, you know? Yeah, yeah true. Just sucking on You ever have a Wagyu burger? No. That's for like a burger Kazoon from type. a bull. You just sneeze? No. That's what that Wagyu is like. amazing. <laughs> from a bull? Yeah. Wow, interesting. So you're telling me you, you've eaten bull meat before? Yeah. Nice. Look at this guy's getting close. The guy filming can suck a dick, though, I right? I know, what the fuck? Brutal filming. Nothing, people, listen We haven't made contact yet. We're 40 seconds into a 53-second You're video. not missing out on anything. This guy is the worst filmer I've ever seen in my life. Does this guy tip a cow? He doesn't. He, they trolled us all, of course. Yeah. 100,000 yep. people got just trolled. got trolled. God damn it, Kevin. God damn it. <laughs> this one looks like there's contact. Tip that cow. Tip that cow. <laughs> I really just want to see someone push a cow over. Does this video exist? Uh, that one was on its knees, bro. This one's showing, like, pictures of, like, the anatomy of pushing cows over. 
It's gotta be. Right Unless there. it's like a guy like trying <laughs> to do it. He's leaning on it, pushing. You can't push a cow over it. They're gonna fuck you up. How hard is it to push? I feel like you could truck a cow over if it was like asleep or something. Oh, he just fell down trying to push one over. That was a grown dude. Keep in mind, he looked like an asshole. <laughs> dude, that's unbelievable that there's not enough. Let's keep going. We're fucking in this cow tipping spiral here because I gotta see a cow get pushed over. That one's got one million views. If that's not a real video, the it's internet is fake I news. proved that you indeed can tip over a cow. Internet's about to be fake news unless there's a real cow getting pushed over. Is this like the fake moon landing? Right? They say you know, they land on the moon. I want to see some footage. Dude, we're a minute. There's a minute in. There's no cow getting pushed over. Are you kidding me? Look that little donkey, though. Yeah, I don't think this fucking guy oh, pushed the cow cute. over. Dude, that's unbelievable. That it's a, go to the comments. That's how you know. I thought he was going to give the cow a $5 bill, thus tipping the cow. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? Gives so, it a tip. Wow. So is tipping a tat is tipping a cow the same as the flat earthers? It's just like a fake thing that they made up. That's what. Or flat Earth is real. I don't know. Or t- tipping cows is fake. What's going on, Kevin? I don't know. It's a good question. Do we encourage uh, people to film tipping? real video of a cow tipping? This one looks. This one looks pretty mischievous. Maybe they get taken down because it's too brutal. First thing that pops up, Justin Bieber. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's, he's selling us some skincare for us, Kevin. <laughs> Biebs, you're so attractive. I'm buying it. Oh, here we go. There's no way they tip a fucking cow. All right, at least we... Oh, my God. Is it a it. baby cow? No, it's a, just a fucking cow figure. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. Amazingly horrible. Uh, okay, I'm done getting trolled. Joke's on us because we want to see a cow pushed over. Yep. For sure. <laughs> I'll count. Shout out on YouTube. Chris Farley style. Chris Farley is one of the best ever, man. He died young, too, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Someone says, you don't age, Anthony. Mr. Wiggles Wiggles. Thanks, man. I feel like I've aged a little bit. I feel like I'm 12, though. I'll tell you that at times. Mm. And then sometimes I feel like a dinosaur, and that's when I'm like, I can't feel like a fucking dinosaur anymore. <laughs> and then sometimes I feel like a fucking little child, and I can't be a little child anymore. Uh, it's just like too far either way. Find the balance. Yeah, the only thing that's really aging is, is pushing back, boys. Going back, the hairline's <laughs> just that's what happens. You well, know? you're not fighting it, you know, you're just shaving it. Yeah, no, I always shave my head. I liked a shaved head, even before when I had a hairline. I did the like Chris Cole, like bowl cut, skater mm-hmm. cut back in the day when I had like good hair and hairline. And I was just like, I ran that for a while and it just didn't feel like me. And I went, just went back to shaving my head all the time. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, this feels right. It's clean, it's yeah. less to worry about. And I love the fact that like, I grow hair everywhere else, you know? My beard is like nothing to joke about. This thing can get insane, dude. Mm. And uh, I like when it gets kind of long and scraggly and then you just take it all off. Yeah. It's just, like, you ever seen beard contests? Uh, I've seen like photos. Like, yeah, I right watched MC, this like, Netflix show beard. that was called Whisker Wars. Not. Oh, I think I saw this a little bit. Yeah. Patrick Melcher was on that. Was he? Was type that? it in. Type it in. Type in that show and type in Patrick Melcher. You don't know who Patrick Melcher is? No. Here, lose my number real quick. <laughs> Take your phone. Delete, <laughs> delete it. it. Yeah. Delete it and then I'll put it back in later. Is that how you spell it? Melcher. Melcher. Good. Uh, C-H-E-R. M-E-L-C-H-E-R. Yes. Yeah. He's go, in there. Go to it. Uh, Let's do this. Let's do this, boys. You don't know Patrick Melcher is so good, man. Such a good skateboarder. We gotta look up some Patrick Melcher footage after. You love his skating. Damn. We should watch his skating before we watch his beards. mustache. He has a sick mustache, though. He always has. It's funny how, like, these guys dress like they're, like, Sherlock Holmes types. You know, they're in a whole different era. There's, like, a whole gig, like, behind it. Like, yeah. a whole act. That's Patrick. Oh, that's him? Yeah, Ginger. He's a Ginger. That's funny. Such a skateboarding legend, dude. That's so crazy that he has... He... He... he you from yeah. Texas? No. I'm pretty sure that's where this contest goes down, so I ask. Maybe. Good question. Where's yeah. Patrick Melcher? We're going to look it up after, for sure. All right. Type in Patrick Melcher and uh, Wiki. Do Patrick Melcher Wiki just so we can get his age, because that might pull it up. And then we got to watch some of his video parts, because he is so good at skateboarding. It's ridiculous. And if you don't know who Patrick Melcher is, you don't really have to lose my number, but you got to type in his name. And well, check it just out has Black Label Wikipedia. Oh, okay. Why so, every professional skateboarder should look like Patrick Melcher. Because they're classic. Well, hold up. Maybe they have him on, um... He's one of those people that are anonymous. You'll never find them. There you go. Border usually has it. 
Really? I wonder if he's ever entered. No, he's a ghost, bro. Yeah. Type in back Patrick Melcher into the internet god and see if it's skate footage. Just put skateboarding. I think he rode for, I don't know who he rode for, Black Label maybe? Semi Trans World Park. Oh, well, let's not. Let's get a video part, classic oh, yeah, video yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. Just type his name into the internet god. And the Black Label black I was. Label blackout. blackout. There we go. Let that one run for a second. Jar my memory. Damn, you has got some fucking epic lamb chops right there. Yeah, I always liked Patrick Malcher because he didn't seem like he had his own thing going on, you yeah. know? It's just like in a sea full of like the same dude. Damn, that was so sick, that hippie jump on Ollie. Yeah. Good style, good trick selection. Ooh, I skated that too. Gap 50, I was in Southern California. It's like nowadays if you're just yeah. sign up to be like, um, you know how there's tons of the same type of skaters sometimes uh -huh. you see them and then it's like certain trends start to pop off and right. like, everybody looks that way. I love when people look like they wouldn't skate but shred. Yeah. It's pretty classic. <laughs> yeah. You're like, what the hell? And then definitely if you walk by him like with that like taxi cab hat on and the lamb chops, you would not be like, wow, this dude fucking rips. Yeah, his clothes like kind of fit him too. Yeah. It's almost it's a little sick. Tailored. Whoa, that was sick. Back fifty like nose out. Like, yeah. Nudge. Kind of looks like the well, Chief, to be nudge. honest a little bit. It looks like Jim Thomas had time. Yeah. With the jeans and like scarf in the back pocket. Oh, that was Boston. No, it wasn't. Different Alba. That was, no? That looks just like it, but that one's probably better. I want to say Patrick Melcher's from Chicago. That, type... that opening quarter pipe spot was Chicago. Ty type in that. Patrick Melcher's Chicago. And we should probably check the YouTube channel and see, because someone might know Patrick Melcher out there. Such a legend, though. Sick to think of that person again. I haven't thought of him in a long time. Nothing? Back in Chicago. This asks a question. Did you discover millen millinery back in Chicago? Oh, uh, okay. That's getting closer. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Hometown Chicago, Illinois. Oh, nailed Skate it. Skate Park of Tampa's got him. Nailed it. Yeah, there he is. Look at that guy. Handsome Dell. Sponsors, Decline Footwear, Death Skateboards, American Destructo, Broadcast Wheels, and Von Zipper. This nice. was updated March 18th, 2010. Good to know. Patrick Malcher's still out there. He's got... His age isn't listed. Is this like a Louis Barletta type deal? He doesn't disclose his age? He's ageless. <laughs> it's fine. He's 21. <laughs> Louis, Louis just probably think it's funny, right? He doesn't yeah, care. I've been searching for his age. <laughs> it doesn't exist. It doesn't. It's just hilarious. Because... I just find it so funny that he like doesn't tell anybody how old he is. Yeah. Like, that's just such a funny concept. It is. Like, that's what I'm saying. He's just like, like, fuck you, I'm not telling you. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of insulting to give shit, really. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but whatever. I mean, I like saying how old I am. Oh, uh, this dude said Chris Cole's getting back on Fallen. No shit. Wow. Who said that? That's uh, from Elkhound. Elkhound. And wow. And Elter rode for Decline when I was getting flowed by them. Fuck yeah, Elkhound. That's awesome. Um, yeah, Fallen's having a bit of a resurrection. They're like... Yeah, they're putting put all the dudes back on. on. Tommy yeah. Sandoval. Yeah, Tommy Sandoval, Billy Marks. Shout out Billy Marks. Oh, yeah, Marks. Billy Marks. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's fucking sick. Yeah. Good for them. Yeah, Melcher's legend. Melcher looks like every person in Fishtown. Mm. <laughs> he does. He was kind of hipstery, right? That's what that style would be. I guess. Like yeah. a he wasn't wallet, really hipstery like though. A cabbie yeah, hat. No, he just like looks. Like, he looks mustache. like a Boston local. It's funny. He does. Look he, like, he looks like a dude. Like, yeah, that's just lurking around selfie. But he's too cleaned up. Like he might be. If you think of more rugged for sure, yeah. maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, it's true. Selfie's more rugged. Yeah, he's like a guy that's lurking around, like. Uh, that one spot where there's all the Irish bars next to each other downtown. Hey. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Right, like, around for Faneuil. People dress up, yeah. go out. There's no violence. You're like, you go have a nice cup of tea or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Get <laughs> you ever been to Max Fish? No. It's a bar in New York? No, yeah, no. I don't know if I haven't been to there. New York as a 21-year-old. Really? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. We used to go and just skate, like, uh... You know, whatever flat ground spot, like Tompkins or whatever, wherever the flat ground was, warm up spot, hang out, then go skate, like street skate, or go out to Flushings or something. Oh, uh, Flushing Meadow? Yeah, or just get in the trenches and go film around the city. And then we'd end up at night, like, go get drunk at Max Fish, <laughs> run into some girls, and oh, like, yeah. just get lost in the city That's for a little sick. bit. 
Yeah, it was pretty. You wild. think flushing them? Do you think that fountain's still drained right now? I don't know. Should, should try to check that. It's out. spring, so out there this weekend. I'm down, dude. Last it's time we went out there, there, we so. wanted. Yeah, it's kind of out of the way, but could be a good spot to start because there's like a bunch of shit around it to skate because yeah. last time when i went to new york we wanted to get, skate that spot we showed up there and the top fountain was filled in but there was like a bunch of other shit to skate so we just skated that damn i yeah. wish someone on the youtube channel right now was in new york and they could lie tell i us, know like, i know no, fountain's good yeah, yeah i know right get it, <laughs> no dice you still keep in touch with brian brown mr wiggles wiggles asks you still keep in touch with Brian Brown? Turtle, shout out to my homie Turtle. Uh, I had a session with him, kind of, not too long ago, about a year or so ago. We went to uh, House of Vans in New York. Sick. Homie Steve Rodriguez, uh, shout out, had a little skate jam there and just like kind of pulled us all together. And Turtle was there doing epic back 5 O's and just steezy fucking creepy style tricks. He did yeah, a bunch yeah. of shit. I filmed him, he was on the channel. I had an edit from that day, it was House of Vans. All I need to skate, I guess. Sick. But yeah, uh, as much as I ever did, Brian and I only know each other through like really just skating. I, I hung out with him and shot the shit a little bit, but like we never like hung out a yeah. full bunch and just without skating. Every time mm -hmm. we see each other, everyone's just skating. So yeah, it's like, yeah. sick, what up? And then what I like about Brian is he has such a funny sense of humor. Brian Brown is one of the funniest dudes. Hell yeah. For sure. Oh, Low key, though. Make their way into slips skating. Skating. It's sick, dude. Some yeah. skaters are fucking hilarious. Yeah, Brian's <laughs> one of them. He's like sharp, got a wit. He's oh, like, hell yeah. has his approach to life and skating, from what I can tell. And he's sick. got a good sense of humor about shit. And yeah. he puts it in there at the right time. It's been a long time, really, though, since I hung out with him that much. But nice. Brian Brown's a legend. And his footage is so sick. Can you think of his footage? No. Let's put him on. Put him on for a second. Damn. Melcher's still ripping in the Comes background, back dude. That, dude, that, like, Crail Wall Ride, that's fucking sick. Hey, six style charges, right? Amazing trick selection. How about that mustache award winning? Yeah, for Possibly. sure. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, he was oh. getting by bus, boys. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. He fell on his neck, boys. Melcher taking some for the team Yeah, we'll right throw there. a link to this shit. Yeah, Definitely. You gotta watch this me. part 100%. Yeah. Brian Adelman, I remember back in the day, did that same thing at uh, Seaport. You know that long ledge? Yeah. That York, uh, goes right? across the... No, no, no. Seaport oh, Boston, Boston. The one that goes across, like, the mulch gap. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh... I forget what trick he did on it, but, like, a trolley bus was, like, slowly rolling in the road Ooh. right in front of him, and he, like, ended up going out into the road and it stopped in front of him. <laughs> like, close calls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how you doing? Almost gonna die. I bet Sammy still has that clip. I wonder. Yeah. Dude, Ryan Adelman's a shredder now, Ron. I want to yeah. skate with that fucker. Brian Brown skateboarding. Get him out. It's got to be coming. Let's do this. We just got to make it happen. Brian Brown, 2007. Let's do this. Uh, trans row part. We will put a link in the description. In the meantime, you can talk. We can look. We can sit here and talk about trans row because they rip, right? R.I.P. Literally, mm -hmm. mags done. But I'm sure they still got digital content. Sick that mm -hmm. Brian Brown made it in a trans world video. Oh, I think that documentary they're making is Day One Song, by the way. I think they're making a Day One Song documentary. Is that what everyone's reposting? Uh, maybe. I saw like something like Day One did it. Oh, yeah. That yeah, might yeah. Have been he a just did, a, he contest, did, a, right? he did like, a contest, yeah. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure. But, but who's doing a documentary? Tra trans, trans, trans World, because they're trying to move to just like online content. That's kind of sick, Digital though. Digital shit. That'd be way sick. Documentary on Day One? Yeah, fuck yeah. Dude, that'd be sick. I mean, I get that. They might move on past the print, but it's cool by me because look at how turtle he looks. Such good stuff. <laughs> Brian Brown has such good stuff. Damn, backlit popover. Just steezy. He just has like yeah, a steezy, yeah. like all the tricks look right for the way he skates too, you know? That was sick. Brian Brown definitely never really forced it, you know? For sure. From what I can tell. His style fits him perfect. A little double ollie. Oh! Dude, so some quick Bobby Pulio type stuff. But it leaves room for us to do print. No, oh, we can do yeah, all yeah. I need, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming, boys. It's done, dude. Dude, Meg that spot crazy. is so fucking fun. Wow, that's sick. You went up that shit. We're going to get the mag done in time for the premieres so we can give them out at the yeah, premieres. Hell yeah. Come to the All I Need Good Eye video premiere in June. The first two weeks, we're going to do four different premieres. Hell yeah. Solstice Mask, uh, Solstice, New Bedford Mask, Civil, Providence, Rhode Island, Narragansett Surf and Skate in Narragansett, Rhode Island, and the Hive Skate Park um, and Skate Shop in New London, Connecticut. We'll, we'll put a flyer up once we have oh, definitive yeah. dates, but we'll give out the first issue of the All I Need Mag at those two. 
right? Hell yeah. Dude, hell yeah. Solid idea. What do you think of Brian? Dude, fucking sick. Are you happy you saw Such his photos? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Sick to know someone out there that's like put this much time into skating and actually has like an original style, you know? Yeah, hell yeah. Instead of just copying everything. Right. You can tell this dude has like just skated so much that he has his own style. Right. That's what I like about this. <laughs> fuck yeah. Thanks for bringing up Brian Brown, whoever did. Yeah, fuck yeah. Brian's a legend, and if you guys like Brian Brown or think of him, fucking let us know. Hit me up somehow. YouTube, Instagram, wherever. Email the podcast. Um, Mr. Wrigley says, who's better rapper, Quim or Harold Hunter? Quim, for sure. Hell yeah. Only because I think Quim took it, like... I don't know if Harold ever took it seriously, but I think Quim had, like, albums and stuff. Oh, okay. Quim Cardona. You know Quim Cardona? No, yeah, I know who he is. I didn't know he rapped, though. <laughs> yeah, he's always, like, had some sort of rap in his, like, intros or whatever. Like, Quim's one of the raddest, most unique people, too. Hell yeah. We should pull up Yeah, some... we had a signed board from him at Edge. Yeah, he's yeah. a legend, dude. Quim is, like, one of the dudes that's been out there. You know how everyone's saying they're out there? Yeah. We're out there, boys. We're out there. <laughs> Quim's been out there. That's it. And he's been doing it and crushing it, too. He went to... We went on a trip to Portugal. Quinn was on that trip, I'm pretty sure. That was the trip I went on with him. Yeah, pretty sure he was destroying it. Hell yeah. Yeah. I wonder. His brother passed. Mike, yeah, Mike Cardona passed. That was a rough one, man. That was a while ago. That was, like, back in the day. Still rough. I know that. That's what I'm talking about. Like, that, like, rocked the skate world, you know? Yeah. But it wasn't, like, every fucking day, you know? Like, right. every other fucking month or some other shit. Like, that was, like, one of the things that happened growing up. It was, like, you remembered it because it wasn't happening that much. That Not that many people skated. I yet. remember Shane Cross, too. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. a big one, too. Yeah. Shane Cross, RIP to both those guys, man. Um, yeah, I think he did some official, like, rap and stuff, but I just want to kind of just revisit the style. Because Quinn Cardona is, like... Definitely, you can tell he has his own unique style and approach. Like, there's like, I don't know how, what else to say about it besides that. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, nobody skates like him except for him, you know? And what I liked about Quinn was like, he never got caught up in anything. He just did his version of skateboarding. You know how sometimes trends happen and shit right. like that, and like people would jump on it? Like, he's just always kind of been. Quim Cardona. Mm -hmm. He would have the... It, that was the same like Kenny Reed. You know who Kenny Reed is? Yeah. Yeah, such a shredder. He uh, did his own thing too. Well-traveled as well. Kenny Reed's a legend. Yeah, Quim... I like Quim because he's got like jello legs. Like, doo -doo -doo, like he has a little swagger, a little jiggle right. in his skin. You know what I mean? Sick. It's not like perfect. Kind of makes me think of... Have you ever watched Glenn Fox? That dude that skates for Magenta? I don't. Dude, I never did. I've he kind of reminds me of that. That's rad. Except this dude skates, like, bizarre. Uh, the dude on the magenta. Yeah. He does, like, a bunch of quick-ass shit. It's pretty sick to watch, though. Yeah, that's sick. Rad. Okay. Yeah. Shout out, Quim Cardona. Another legend out there, for sure. Hell yeah. Um, Devante says, What up, man? What up, my G? How you doing? Uh, Quim has a dope hang-on with episode with Jankum. Sick. All right, I'm gonna have to check that out. Hell yeah. Good luck, uh, J-E-C-P. G. Mr. Wiggles, one of the top styles ever. Also Jersey, low, got a real back, got it, got on real back in the day. Yeah, Quim Cardona, he used to ride for real. Oh yeah. That's sick. New Jersey in the building, my people. I spent a lot of time out in Jersey because of Fibro days. Oh, sick. Shout out to Joe Tukmanian. Go to his house, stay with him and stuff. I've only been there to pass through. Yeah. Never actually spent time in Jersey. Oh, and Chris Naraco too. You, yeah. You, Jimmy passed through. That was in North Carolina, though, I thought, wasn't it? Dude, no, I thought we, I thought we saw him up in Jersey for some reason. Maybe I'm tripping. Where he, he was on the road. We were at like his parents' house. Yeah, is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. Dang, that's how. Stopping by his parents' place. That was like a lifetime ago. My mind, like, yeah. I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was like the first legit skate trip I went on. That was like yeah, all was packed in the van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we I mean, I'd like flown to Cali with like say, uh, Ryan and Joey and shit, but like. Yeah. That was, like, the first, like, team trip. Yeah, we yeah. definitely went deep on that, that one. That was sick. How long was that trip? Like, two weeks? I think that was a 
Full week. Full week? Yeah. We went to dirty we, Atlanta. We were going to cut it short six days and take two days to drive back, but then we ended up staying the, the full day, the Send last day, it. and then drove Send 18 it. hours in one shot. Yeah. We did, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 18 hours. <laughs> and then that was, like, for you to get home, then all of us had to drive, like, from here to home, you Yeah, know? but by that time, it's the next day. Oh, by that time, you're just like a zombie. Yeah, you're yeah. like, we're just in this... this yeah, right. But there's too many memories yeah. now. We've experienced Worth this. it. Yeah. Worth it. <laughs> Damn, that's so wild. Yeah, man. I'm pretty sure there's super low airfare in Atlanta now. Really? You can get there from, a, like, a, I saw an ad for it. I think you can, like, round trip to, uh, like, um, Logan to Atlanta for, like, 110 or something. Wow. 110, 120. That's not bad. Say. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe a little cheaper. I kind of want to get a van, though. Oh, for sure. The van's, like, way funner. I'm just yeah. saying in general, you know, if you're planning, anyone out there planning a trip with some friends, I think you can get Atlanta ticket, tickets pretty cheap. Yeah. Ton of spots. I just mean, like, it'd be sick to have, like, a all-I-need, like, skate van. Oh, yeah. That would be fucking tight. I was always inspired when I went out to San Francisco and Deluxe, because we were out there with Flo, uh-huh. potentially Am for Real and Spitfire and Thunder. Like, they flew us out there, I think. Because I was flow for Solstice, and that was the connect, and somehow I ended up going out there, but they had this van, and it was a full-on skate van. It was, like, big-ass, like, 16 up. passenger, but the whole shelves back the had back shelves, shit. generator, yeah, yeah, yeah. lights, everything had, like, little cubbies Mission for what you Game <laughs> Warford, like, had all his photo stuff. Like, they were running an operation, uh-huh. and they had a specific van to, like, bring dudes from out of town, and the dudes that come in, all the team, and just bring them the van, everyone goes out and just gets Damn. it. How sick would that be? Just right. a designated vehicle for that. Yeah, yeah. Tight. You just keep everything you need. Yeah, Generator, yeah. lights, all that stuff. Hell yeah. That's That would be sick as hell. That's been a dream of mine. I actually, my first car I wanted was a minivan because you could just get everybody in. Tattleman. Yeah. First whip, minivan. But he's filling it up with kids and says skateboarders. Bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It was filled with skateboarders. Yeah. Nothing lasts forever. He doesn't have it anymore, actually. He got rid of it before he uh, had his first kid. Oh, really? Yeah. That was a, cause I never even wanted a car cause it was just like more responsibility. Mm. It's like, dude, another thing I have to worry about paying yeah. for. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Especially when you're just developing, you're trying to like have some free time. Yeah, you so you can a van on pretty cheap. Oh, I know. Yeah. Something to work Same. towards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to pay insurance. You have to have yeah, someone to true, keep it. True. Like it can't be blocking. Like, right, right. you know what I mean? It's like, we could get to that. <laughs> I want a van, though. It'd be amazing to have, because yeah, then yeah. it's just like, take dudes out and go in the van, and it's just like, right. going out, shoot photos, videos, full mission style, get in the van and go. Then we could go out to the Midwest, we could go down south right. if we wanted, we just have the whip. Yeah, it'd be sick. Just trip and plan it out, you know? Right. It'd be so fun. Yeah, it'd be so fun, dude. Um, so when Robert says, I miss those road trips. Oh, yeah. Sorry, man, I get it. I know, it's been a while since we did one. I'm, I'm excited for... um. Go skate day. We're going to yeah, go out to Martha's Vineyard. That ferry ride. That'll be fun. That, f- that ferry Why ride. Not, right? It's very good. Yeah, it's yeah. very awesome. <laughs> it's very awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a good time. You can drink some beers, hang out on a ferry, right. look at some ocean, stuff like that. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. <coughs> My two twin home ta- homies from Jersey grew up skating with Quim. That's dope. And they were twins? Because I think Quim and his brother might have been, tw- like, I don't know if they were twins. Hmm. Nice. Hell yeah. Anything else? Did we get it all? I think just about, yeah. We do it, boys! Another Wednesday, another podcast? Yeah, no one down. Sight. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of itching for today, but like, it was like a lot of work and trying to get free, and it just goes to the finish line for the podcast. Yeah. Like, all right, we're in this thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Let's go! You know? <laughs> I hope to like be able to podcast more than once a day, too, or mm-hmm. once a week. But oh, yeah. it's only been once a week lately. Mm. I've been thinking about maybe sniping, like, trying to get an interview going with someone again. Mm. Just for funsies. It's been a minute. I like to mix it up. Yeah, I wanted to show you this thing, too. I think there's, like, a new app like, that you can record FaceTime conversations with. Oh, nice. Yeah. Sick. Yeah, that could work. show you it. Um, yeah, but I, I, my favorite is when I can record two a week. Because mm-hmm. you just get, like... It's just fun because you get to have two. You get to sit down and engage and talk and be yeah, silly yeah. and whatever. And it's like classic, you know. Yeah, hell yeah. I need that more. So I sure. enjoy that we get it once a week, though. The podcast yeah. and like, it's nice that you're back again. Yeah. 
And uh, the next one, we'll have to have uh, someone come in. Maybe Goonan and uh, maybe Billy or Evan. We'll see mm-hmm. if who's around. Hell yeah. We should do like a full group one. That would be so funny. I don't know if you could tell who's who and yeah. whatever, but... I think it'd be fun. We got what? We could just get the omnidirectional mic and just yeah. pop it in the middle and see yeah. how that works. Because yeah. that's specifically just for like groups. You yeah, know? that'd be sick. I don't know how you guys will be able to tell who's who. I guess you will <laughs> after a while you'll be able to tell everyone's yeah. voice, but... That'd be so fun. That would be fun. So many different people. Let's plan it out. All right, boys. Wait, last thing. Do I have to suck on Kevin's udder? Not <laughs> into it, bro. Keep your udders to yourself. First and foremost, don't stick your udder to the sweat. Oh, there yeah. we go. Okay, we covered everything. Yeah. Peace, my Gs. Till next week, Wednesday, 7. We were a little late, 7.30. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kevin. Ha ha ha.